Hello, this is Edward. Welcome to Greg Tech Beginner Series. Um, in these videos, I want to show you a mod that's called Greg Tech. It's an addition to Industrial Craft that adds a ton of blocks and tools, and it's considered by many to me to be the hardest mod of all. Um, so many hate it, many love it. I like it. I use it, and I would like to show you the basics and also advanced stuff but later on. Now to get started in Greg Tech you're gonna need to make yourself a plate bending machine. Uh, to make yourself a plate bending machine you can simply make yourself four pistons, two compressors, two electron circuits and one conveyor module which you make like this. But you wanna use the second page recipes for now. Um, refined iron, some glass, circuits and a battery, not too bad. Once you um, get yourself a plate bending machine, um, you want to feed it energy. And to know how much energy it requires, all Greg Tech machines offer this tooltip when you hover over them that tells you how much EU they accept per package. So this one accepts 30 EU, EU per package. So that's what I'm feeding it, 32 EU. Now it's working. Um, what does the plate bending machine do? Well, if you click on the sign in the middle here that says recipes, you can see all the recipes, all the things it makes. So basically, as you can see, uh, it mainly makes plates from ingots. Platinum plate or electron plate, infer plate, you're gonna need a ton of plates for uh, many of the recipes in this mod and even in other mods because Greg Tech likes to change recipes from other mods. Um, so how it works is really simple, you just give it a piece of whatever you want to make a plate of and it makes it for you, it doesn't take long, uh, doesn't take a lot of energy and you can just grab it. Um, you can automate this machine if you grab at yourself a wrench and shift right click you'll get this square and this is the output side and if you put a chest down on the output side and then you right click and you make sure that the orange button is pressed it is pressed right now it means it's gonna get all the plates, all the output and at certain intervals it's gonna move the output into the chest so that's uh, basically what the conveyor module does and I believe the speed at, wh at, at which it does it is once per minute so once per minute it's gonna grab all the things in the output and it's gonna put them in the chest and we can check layer if it's done it. Um, okay, so you know how to make plates. What's the next step? Well, I would suggest you start with power generation. Um, Greg Tech adds a bunch of machines that uh, help with power generation. So I've ordered them from least to most power generated and I'm gonna start with the lowest which is the semi-fluid generator. Semi-fluid generator um, it's a machine that outputs 8 U per tick and you can see the recipes here you can see it accepts seed oil and uh, fuel, not fuel, oil lithium, sodium, uh, biomass and you know to make it work you can either pump the liquid with um, pipes or liquid ducts or you can simply get yourself cells like oil cells of any type probably and just put them in and it's gonna take uh, cells, it's gonna store them here and it's gonna start generating power from any of the sites and it's gonna store it and it's gonna output it alright so how do you make this? You, it's quite easy you need those plates that you now know how to make refined iron plates in this case generator, circuits and hardened glass quite easy um, next one would be the diesel generator which outputs 12 EU per tick. All of these machines they tell you how much they output on the tooltip. They tell you how much they store which is pretty cool. And This one store 1 million EU so you don't actually need a storage unit. They can serve as their own storage unit. Um, so recipes for this one would be biofuel uh, sodium bicarbonate, no, coal fuel, biofuel, 
etc. You can look for yourselves. And it tells you how much EU it generates. So you can see there's a big difference between, for example, nitro coal fuel and fuel. And nitro diesel cell, cell is the most powerful one. So again, you can just, uh, you know, grab yourself cells or buckets and put them in and it'll generate them and uh, yep you can still pump it with liquid acts or whatever and how do you make this one well it's almost the same as the other one um, except you don't need hardened glass so that's cool it's like slightly cheaper but it produces even more or um, at a higher rate okay so next one would be the gas turbine gas turbine uses either hydrogen cells or meth methane cells to produce energy at a rate of 16 EU per tick has the same interface as the other ones and you can see hydrogen produces 15,000 EU and meth methane produces 45,000 EU uh, same process either cells or you can pump the liquid in directly and it'll output alright so this one you make like this for infrared plates or aluminium plates, two windmills, two advanced circuits, and uh, one piece of hardened glass. Next one would be the magic energy converter. This is um, quite different. It uses items from Thumbcraft to uh, make energy, and also mercury cells, which I think you can get without Thumbcraft. Um, so yeah, you can see it uses essentials or shards to make power and it works exactly the same way as the others you can either put the shards in or you can probably pump them from the top and it actually doesn't consume the shard it depletes it and you get a dull shard so you know that's kind of cool and it's producing energy now another generator oh how do you make this well you need a beacon lapatron teleporter, four advanced circuits, one thumb in ingot, and it uh, generates at 24 U per tick. Next one would be the thermal generator, which is actually an improvement of the uh, industrial crafts uh, lava generator, no, geothermal generator. So again, it has the same interface as the others, and it only accepts lava, either pumped in or in buckets, or actually in cells, which it doesn't show, but it also accepts um, cells. So if we put some cells here, there you go, and it produces a 24 U per tick, and you're gonna need a geothermal generator to make it. Plus some plates, some hardened glass, and two electronic circuits. So not too bad. And there you go. Uh, next one would be the, this is a unique machine. Uh, you're only gonna be able to use one. It's quite expensive to make. You're gonna need some advanced, uh, some energy flow circuits, teleporter, super condensator, and iridium plates. It's super expensive. However, um, it's um, it generates 128 EU per tick, and it only needs a dragon egg on top. So, you see, it lighten up, and now it's generating 128 U per tick forever, um, day and night, um, yeah, without rest, so that's cool. But you might think to yourself, hey, I can, I can cheat in, no, not cheat in, I can get some dragon eggs because some other mod gives me dragon eggs. Well, you can't, because if you try to place another one of those machines with a dragon egg on top it's gonna explode as you can see here so yeah Greg Gregorius T the developer has made sure that there's no way you can have uh, more than one of those machines working so they're quite expensive they generate 128 U per tick and you can only have one working at any time. Um, finally, you get the plasma generator. This machine is uh, quite expensive to make. Tungst 
10 steel plate, 5 of them, uh, ATV transformer, 2 energy, energy flow circuits, 1 generator, you get a plasma generator which outputs at 2048 EU per tick and it stores 1000 million EU. Um, this machine works with plasma which you get out of fusion reactors. Fusion reactors are an incredibly complex um, multi-block structure which is kind of the highest tier in this mod and it's super expensive but once you get it you can produce plasma you can either store it in cells or you can pump it out in tubes and then the plasma generators get the plasma and it produces plasma at 2048 um, EU per tick. This is the only recipe and one of these cells produces 8 million, uh, 8 million EU which is quite a high amount. Um, in fact I'm using Grectech wires which can transport up to 2 billion EU here because uh, glass wire would burn since it only transports 512 and I'm using this um, adjustable energy storage unit which accepts 2048 but right now it's not generating energy not sure why oh yeah the output side is on the wrong so I just shift click there and it outputs on the opposite side and now it's generating energy so those are the uh, energy generation um, machines of Gregtech I I would suggest using thermal generator because it's not too expensive to make and it, it requires lava which you can just pump out of the nether these ones can be useful too if you have a, an excess of food or uh, even you know fuel, biomass, all of that and you can just use it to generate energy and uh, well those that was an introduction to Greg Tech Generators I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.